come here. You know you can't knock the hustle. It's the way that we play. It's just another sunny day in California. What's up, RBG fam? Bam! So today's another day. We're at the RBG Casa, as you can tell, and I'm getting ready to head out to LA. Uh, I got a couple of interviews tonight. I'm gonna be on Rhodium Radio, which is Tony Vision. Shout out to Tony A, his platform. I'm gonna be answering some calls there, and then tomorrow morning I'm gonna be on K Day 15. No, not 1580. <laughs> That's the original. I'm 93.5 K Day with uh, CC and Romeo to promote the show we got happening on August 28th. I can't wait to get out of this madhouse, to be honest with you. So I'm gonna leave. The wife's gonna stay behind. Hold it down, right, babe? Just doing some homework, or helping homework with Layla, or helping yeah. Layla with her homework. There you go. Not even you sure you need help with your verbiage? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Let's go, man. We out here, city of Wilmas, LA, represent. About to go on this uh, Tony Vision Rhodium Radio. Go take some calls. So call us up. What's your name, bro? Oh, Norberg. You the man behind hey, the sir. scenes? The wall. What's up, Tony? Hey. What's up, my brother? How you doing, man? In the building. And you know I got the lightest here, the brown head. My guy, my guy, my guy. So I got the lightest with the lightest. I went to Michelob Ultra, bro, so. How is Michelob? Because I see a lot of people drinking. It's good, bro. I mean, get used to it like anything, you know what I mean? 90 calories. Well, I mean, obviously, yeah, How many bro. calories is that? The, the Corona right there, man? Come on. Shit! Uh, let me go ahead and introduce someone that I've been on for many, many, many years. And he's got many new stuff popping off. And I want you guys to support him, to subscribe to him, and call up and ask him whatever when uh, we put up the number. So other than that, uh, without further ado, please allow me to introduce ODM from Lighter Shader Brown. Hey, Tony. Hey. How you doing, my brother? Oh, man, I'm blessed, bro. I'm glad I, I made it on time for the second time in a row. That's right. Hey, okay, Tony up? Vision, the crew. Okay. You know hey. Hey. Yeah. Yeah. All right, we just got to the room. Man, shout out to Tony A for having us. I made sure we had two beds because uh, this bottle right here. We're, we're here at the hotel tomorrow morning. We're right down the street from the next interview. So we will catch y'all when we catch y'all tomorrow. K-Day, peace. Yeah. It's a beautiful morning. Money Moon's up in his BX. What up, right. man? Danny boy. Excuse me, sir. Are you Mr. Minty Dosa? Hey, man. What's up, man? It's me, man. <laughs> it's, it's me, Pitbull. Candy man. Oh, I'm just hanging with legends today. Same here. What's up, baby boy? Good, good morning. Oh, bro, I ain't been up here in a minute since like the 90s, bro. Individually? Since I had a head. <laughs> I've been up here since I had a head, bro. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Well, we here for different reasons, for our fruits, of our labor. You know what I'm saying? Once again, always a good? Yeah. Back home. Yeah, it is. Okay, you know you got your ass all in there, yeah, all in the All in the mellow. <laughs> Fuck Mello. All in the video. <laughs> Dancing. Got <laughs> the death row. Man. That's it, Dad. When ODM don't call you back no more. Yeah. <laughs> um, Y'all know this is the new group. What are we gonna call it? Uh, <laughs> wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> How about CMB? CMB. Yeah. I like that. Yeah. I like that. You know what that is? Candy Cuban, <laughs> brown, Cuban, oh, Mexican, <laughs> and black. Uh, I CMB. I thought it was Cash Money. We got some brown. Hey. Oh, we over here trying to name a new group. Look, you see, I know you should have let him win. I don't want to interrupt. Romeo, you got to name the group. What's the group? Oh, man. Relations, man. We talked about it on K Day. I talked about when I first heard Latin Active. I was like, fuck yeah. That's dope. How you doing, my love? Oh, we coming in here. Hold that, hold that, hold that. What's up, Julie? Long time, brother. How are you, brother? All right, man. All right. everywhere. All right, keep the cameras up. Yeah, look at that. Charge it up. Beat charge. It's a gift to get ODM, you have this podcast, and let's talk about it. Yes. The Blockout Podcast, and tell us some of your guests. Yes. So, the first season, we just kicked it off a couple weeks ago. I come to find out, I says, what better way to kick off the first season and uh, with the birth of Lighter Shade of Brown. Yes. You know, we've got diehard fans out there that have been following us forever, and they've been constantly asking us, yo, when are you dropping a book? When are you dropping a documentary or, yeah. or movie? Or I got my manager who created Lighter Shade of Brown, mm -hmm. Cliff Richie. The next week, I got DJ Jam and James. Shout out to Jam and James, you know, the, Absolutely. one of our main producers. Producers of Homie, Sunday Afternoon, Latin Active, DJ Fabe Love. A lot of people didn't know that there was a third member of 
called Lighter Shade. Oh, wait a minute, I didn't know yeah. that. So if you look on our Brown and Proud cover, our very first album, yeah. the orange and green one, there's three of us. That was DJ Faye, the taller cat. He was our DJ slash producer. Mm -hmm. I'm giving them a chance to tell their story. Right. It helps me out because they're pointing out some stuff that I don't remember, and, and that's how we, we go back and forth. All right, guys, Daddy's back home, acting all tired like he was working all day. Just kidding. I didn't sleep all night. You know what? My partner, Danny, <laughs> I'll never rent a room with him again. Shut up, really? It was that bad? But yeah, that dude snored all night. I couldn't go to sleep. I got no sleep. We had to be up. It was a long morning. Dang, Danny. Let me go get that checked out. Meanwhile, we have a little ice cream lady over here. So Auntie Irma gave her this little ice cream stand. She wants to take it everywhere. Amaya, we're going bye-bye. Here, all right, so right now, it's Elijah's parent information night. So we are gonna head to that right now. Um, I'm gonna take the girls to my mom just so they can hang out there. I don't wanna like try and be listening to like the teacher and then having to run after Amaya. And then um, some of the kids, my cousin's kids are just gonna stay on the playground just like play some ball and stuff. So Elisha's gonna come with us. I'm gonna drop the girls off. Um, there's two sessions, uh, six to 6.30 and then 6.30 to seven. So we're doing that the second one just because I felt like it. <laughs> so let's go. All right, guys, so we just got back from Elijah's parent um, conference, you know, learning about his class, his teacher, the way he works, what goes down. Uh, turns out his teacher is uh, Mr. Banana because he's got a gang of bananas in his, <laughs> his classroom. I guess that's his thing. But that's cool. I mean, you know, Mr. Banana is going to be giving out prizes uh, during the year if a little man over there is, you know, in good behavior and does good things. So anyway, we learned a lot, the way the curriculum goes, and he's got a lot of sight words coming this year. It's first grade. A lot of reading is going to be involved. He's got books to read, and but, you know, we're going to do this. I got some work to do. Vanessa is upstairs. I think she's getting the baby in the bath, and it's time for Elijah to take a bath. But when we got home right now, I walked over. I was like, okay, this is Amaya's toilet. What's that yellow in there? Oh, you know, it's just popcorn. Only uh, two-year-olds would do this. What's up, fam bam? It's a hot summer day today. 105 today in the Inland Empire where I'm from. Hopefully it's cooler where you're at. But today, oh, I'm about to get the hyena. This is the prank of all pranks. It's been at least a couple years. Maybe maybe a little shorter time, but you guys always ask for a prank. So today, we're, you know, we're just living within our means. We're trying to ever since I got exited out of my radio station job. So I've been saving here or there, right? I rented a Tesla. And this is for you guys. I'm doing this for you, all right? I'm gonna prank the wifey and tell her that I purchased a Tesla. She doesn't know at all. She has no clue. I've been gone all morning and I just been out and about. She's texted me a couple of times. I just told her I had to run a couple of errands, right? So yeah, here it is right here. This is a Tesla Model 3. Shout out to all the Tesla drivers out there. Now, it took me a while to get used to this before I put the camera on because I had to, you know, get used to the whole thing. But this is badass. I got to tell you that much right now. You know, I played around with a little autopilot and whatnot. But right now I got a char charging. I'm at one of these super charging stations here and locally right next to Target. And it worked out because the wifey needed me to pick her something up from Target, which I did. And it gave me some time. 20 minutes, fully charged. Let's go inside and check it out. All right. So off top, you've never been inside of a Tesla. It's a little small for me. Again, this is the Model 3. I think I would go for more of the SUV considering I have a family, but right now I came, we came by nothing. So, so we ran it. I'm gonna call her right now, get her on the phone and tell her that I'm on my way and that I have a surprise for her and to let her know that she needs to start filming as I come around the corner so she could see the surprise, AKA the parade. Let's go. First of all, shout out to the owner, bedazzled the, uh, you know, <laughs> it reminds me of my wife's cups. Anyway, this is really cool. Here's the little laptop screen you got. You hit the home screen and then lets you know how much charging you got. I just tar charged it literally when I was talking to you guys. I've already lost 10 miles somehow, but I guess it runs everything, you know. It's a battery, it's gonna run your AC, it's gonna run your music. I'm, I'm going somewhere tonight actually, so I'm gonna be taking the vehicle with me. So I'll, I'll test that option with you guys. And my wife's gonna trip when she sees me coming around with this. So stay tuned, right now I'm grabbing us some Starbucks I'm gonna get her on the phone right now. Hey Siri, call wife. <sighs> it's gonna be good, it's gonna be Did good. Did you mean wife? Mobile. Yeah. Yes, I know. Calling wife. She gonna flip out. She's gonna trip, dude. Watch. <laughs> Hello? 
Babe, hey, come outside and bring your camera. Turn your camera on. I got a surprise for you. Dude, I'm like in the middle of doing my freaking eyebrows. I have like them all. Just real quick, trust me, this is worth it. You're gonna love it. Uh, okay. All right, bye. Anyway. I'm gonna turn the camera on and get a reaction as I come around. How about that? And we'll see what she says. Call my lawyers, call, call my lawyers, call my lawyers, Munoz Lawyers today. You know what it is, you gotta call my homies, Munoz Lawyers, and let them get lawyer active with your criminal case today. Munoz Lawyers can assist you with DUIs, all serious felonies, domestic violence, traffic stops with no problem. 855 Munoz Law, that's 855 Munoz Law. Or hit them up on the web, MunozLawyers.com. So if you're caught up in a criminal case, you know what to do. Call my lawyers, Munoz Lawyers today. What's up, Aina? Whose car did you steal? What do you mean? You like oh, it? Trippy. Whose car uh, is this? Huh? Whose car is this? It's ours, dude. You said you wanted a, well, you wanted a new car. No, I didn't. You've been talking about this car. You're tripping. I know, babe, and I finally got it. Think I'm playing? Of course you have the key if you bought it from somebody. Babe, no. I bought this. I, I got the. I don't know. I forgot how to open up the glove compartment, but. <laughs> The yellow slip's in there where you sign. The pink slip. Everything is there, bro. This is ours. That would be stupid. Why Why is it stupid? Why would you get a new car right now? You Babe, because I know drive we... drive your truck. We both... Well, that's okay. I'm, I'm going to rent that out. You're tripping. There's, how are you even going to pay for this? I Don't you worry about it. You just paid your truck off so we didn't have another payment. You're right. lying. I know you're lying. No, I'm, I swear. Don't worry about it. It's good. I worked it in. I got a good deal on it. You know, it's... I know it's going to take time to sink in, but... Babe, this is ours. Like, for real. Why aren't you happy? Because that's a really stupid decision and a selfish decision. And I really hope that you're messing with How me. How is it selfish if I told you that I that I want one for us? This is for us. I don't need a car like this. I don't I don't care for these cars. Well, I'll drive it most of the time. What you're gonna do is drive it back to the damn dealership because I, I, I can't do that. Babe. Once you drive it off the lot, that's it. I know it. that you're lying. I'm not lying. Yeah, you are. I'm not. Why would you do something like this if we're both not even working? We're working from home. Christmas is around the corner. Like, you could use this money for Christmas gifts for a kid. Well, like, that's really just, stupid. Okay, well, then what we'll do is we'll wrap it up. We'll tell the kids this is their early Christmas gift. It's for us. That's Look, it's even red. Good. It's red like Christmas. That's so dumb. Babe, for real. You're, you're effing with me. I'm right? not. Yeah, You'll see. Uh, watch. It'll stay here tonight, and it'll be here tomorrow. And all week, and the rest of the years. Daddy's tripping. Oh. Daddy's tripping. I know that you would not be that dumb to go. I know that you've been talking about one of these cars and getting one for a long time, but I know you just wouldn't go do them. Here, have mine. some Starbucks, because I know that's going to take time. I, I bought you something. Is this to, one mine? Yeah, that one's yours. Just to soothe you up a little bit, you know. And that's, that's it. a really dumb Look decision. Look at it. Your, your daughter already loves it. Look. She's trying to go. You want to try to go floss with Daddy? Yeah. Yeah, see? She's trying to go floss. Congratulations, babe. I don't Can I get a pound? <laughs> no, my hand was hurt. Can no, I get a pound? there's Why? no. Babe, this thing is so dope. It's got like touch screen, everything. It drives on its own. It does autopilot. I know. You've been it talking does... about him for a minute. Like, I, I don't believe you. I don't believe you. I'm just like in shock right now. Like, there's no way you're Babe, you want to drive it? You want to go for a test drive? No. I don't even, no. I don't even know how to drive this dang thing. It's, you don't have to learn. It just put on autopilot. Come on, dude. Your friends see you in this. <laughs> My, my, I love my car. My friends see my, my Traverse, and I'm happy with that. Babe, I, I don't think of this don't. as our like our parent getaway car. When the kids are, are with the babysitter, and then you and I, boom, one, two, and then, I don't know, we could throw our luggage back there. No car seats. You and I, this is it. We need one. We got a family car. We got a truck to haul the trailer. This is dumb. I really hope that you're lying, because it's a really dumb decision to do, especially without me. Fam bam, am I selfish for this? I'm trying to look at I'm trying to make my wife happy. You know, the kids. I'm trying to take some stress off of her where she goes ride. She could ride autopilot. You know what I'm saying? That does not for you. For you. This is all for you. You guys, he has been talking about getting a, this car for the longest time. I've been talking about test driving. And getting one just in general. Well, baby. If I liked it, which I do. Yeah, you see felt. Look at man, this has got red interior. You charge it up, no gas. We're saving the earth. Same thing. <laughs> I'm just kidding. It's a prank. I knew you stole this. Where'd you steal this from? <laughs> I got it off of this app. Uh, it's called Toro app anyways, guys. So basically you can rent cars for the day. I rented it for two things. To prank your ass 
and a ticket. We got a show tonight in LA, so we're gonna take it. I just know that you would not do something stupid like this. And if we we would agree on something like this, like that on that honestly would make sense. What we talked about right. renting the truck and the trailer out. Oh, so you can do it for real then? No. <laughs> the point is, we don't need this car right now. It's a luxury car, and it it's a it's a want. It's not a need. That's why I married you, Boo Boo. Mm -hmm. All right, take the baby out because I'm gonna go solo cruising right now by myself. <laughs> Alright guys, we're in the city of Glendora And yeah man, I'm tripping on the Tesla Me and Money Moons What's up, what's up So we're rolling over here, Continental Restaurant I'm gonna meet up with the Munoz lawyers real quick They actually live in the city in Glendora it's Right down the street where we're performing at We're performing at a Sweet 16 You ready fool? Yeah, at the Women's Club yeah, At the Women's <laughs> Club, the Glendora Women's Club so We're just gonna have some uh, Some crackers Some <laughs> chips right now some chips and dip, and we'll be on our way. Allison yeah. Alley. And the tragacito. <laughs> We're playing tennis today? What's going on? <laughs> What's going on? What's up, fellas? Good, good. You know we had to come visit you guys, oh, right? That's right, man. It was a good time. You know? <laughs> yeah, why not? I just left your house right now, Mike, and I was like, let me pull up, make see if he's there. And I didn't see no car. I saw two cars, and I was like, let me call this guy, man. <laughs> we got Michelle. She booked us for her uh, goddaughter's uh, birthday. <laughs> Sweet 16. Shout out to Allison. We're about to go up there and tear it up. You ready, Moons? Let's get it. Allison, a happy sweet 16. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of your night. Say nice, nice prank. Good, good try. Say like, nice try, Daddy. Did I get mommy? I got mommy, huh? Did I get mommy? Yeah. yeah. Say no. No. <laughs> no. Say no, huh? Say yes or no. Yes. Yes. Yeah, Team Daddy. <laughs> you was you was getting a little heated though, for real, lucky. Because I would have probably been a little upset. It's just not a smart mis decision right now. But you got me for a quick second. But I'm like, nah, I know he wouldn't do this. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I don't know, yeah, like she said, we're not ready to make that, but we got other things like uh, mortgage to attend to every month. Mm -hmm. And kids to yep. attend to every hour, every second. <laughs> so thank you so much for watching the vlog, and we're going to end this vlog on that note. Happy birthday. Today's the birthday! <laughs> Guys, I'm 30 years old. Like, whoever thought I'd make it to 30? 30. 30, flirty, and thriving. Guys, low key. No, my wife's making me grow my beard back. Low key, he wants to. Don't blame it on me. The hater's gonna come for me, okay? I like it when it's there, okay? Yeah. But so do you, so you know. So don't mind the grays. They're coming out though. Mm -hmm. We love you, fam bam. We love you, fam bam. Bye. A boy and girl, and that would equal me and you. Sharing dreams while caught up in this moonlight. I never argued and never once caused a fight. Respect was the main key to our relation. Going on trips and spending three week vacations. You know.